So where did all the Alaskan snow crabs go? Did they all get picked up uh, or was there just a massive die off? And I, I, I will lean on the side of there was a massive die off. Uh, I could understand the argument for uh, some, some human involvement for warming of the waters. However, we did also have the largest boom of them uh, in, in 2018. So I think that is one factor, but I don't think it's the largest contributing factor for, for die offs. I think that's something that hasn't yet really been looked at because there's so many big players involved is pesticide use. All across, uh, if you look at, say, for California, for example, California uh, between 2004 and 2015 used over 2 billion pounds of pesticides. Uh, that's just in the state of California. That And that does end up runoffs, it goes uh, seepage, it goes right into water sources, water sources that uh, are, are all around. We know that uh, those pesticides, those insecticides, then kill, and it has been proven to kill dragonflies, mayflies, mollusks, uh, and uh, uh, also it has affected other things. Uh, there was one study they went out and they looked at the, trying to see what, what would happen if they exposed crabs, uh, you know, crustaceans, uh, and they found that to pesticides, and they found that it had very significant effects on coordination. Interestingly enough, there's also been a link between children with high pesticide exposure and slower muscle coordination, slower reflexes. As pesticides are increased worldwide, I think we need to understand uh, their second, third order effects in non-target organisms. Uh, now, if you look at California, for example, it was just discovered, uh, people knew this, that there was massive DDT dump sites off of uh, Catalina Island. They had dumped tons and tons of DDT after it was banned and just went off the California coast and dumped it there. And uh, DDT has been banned in most countries. It's still being used in other places, but there are other massive pesticides that are, are, are incredibly damaging. There's over uh, over a hundred different pesticides that are just approved for use in California, for example, uh, of which we know very limit, limiting uh, effects nice with. We do know uh, that in humans, of course, uh, there's a higher prostate risk in men that, that uh, more common in pesticide application workers, and in females, they're, they're more likely to get ovarian cancers if they're, they're working with pesticides. Uh, so I'm throwing it out there. Uh, I think that something that really needs to be looked at is the direct link between uh, pesticides, uh, insecticides. Uh, you know, what, some of these pesticides, what they're designed to do is they could cause these insects to continuously molt. So, so if you think of it, uh, they, they just, they're, they're not able to keep, like if you think of a crab, they're just not able to keep their, um, their, their shell on. So if you think about how both insect, insects and crustaceans are in this phyla of arthropoda, I don't think it's a it's a it's a big link to say hey uh, maybe we need to think about it and look at this that link uh, you have that massive massive crab die off uh, and we need to know uh, and look at that as a as a, as a possible uh, link to, to killing off the all these all these crabs. Thank you and uh, please hit that like and like and subscribe button.